Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, my name is Caballero and I'm back here in Virgil Oasis, uh, you know, to watch uh, this week's EVL Virtual League PvP tournament. And it says here, um, there is only one contestant for Tire D. Adventure level 80 Mal Rasa is our Tire D champion Okay, so we already have our Tire D champion The reason for that is because um, There was only one participant So basically He won by default <laughs> That's one way of winning. Winning by default. Uh, taking a look around, I'm getting some lag already. There's a good amount of um, avatars here in Virtue Oasis watching the event. And as you know, the more avatars are in a scene or an area, the laggier the game gets. And uh, not to mention that uh, I already have like a quarter of a second lag for uh, being uh, far from the server. Okay, so now they are going to start uh, the matches for Tire C. And the first matchup is between Shannara versus Black FJP. Also says here, Shannara eating BRT. <laughs> Let's take a look. So over here we have Shannara from the House of Mangar, and uh, over here we have Black FJV from EVL. Are the fighters ready? So this is uh, the first match, and someone is burning. Look at that. Besides me, we have uh, Sedicus, and uh, over there we have that guy, Nichi, Nichi Venandi. Uh, Black FJP is ready, Shannara is ready, and there you go, the first match of the day has started. Uh, Black FJP just you know he charged in with his axe he is uh, wielding a two-handed axe and we just saw Shannara went down I'm not uh, very familiar with the skills of the uh, axe it's a bludgeon it's a bludgeon weapon um, his damage is a little over 50% well, at least his HP is now it's down to 20. And there you go. Black FJP just went down. And look at that. He is now glitching. I guess the, um, the ice from the ice field is like impaling him over and over and over and over and over and over again. Okay, so the winner of the first match is Shannara. And there you go. Uh, Black FJP finally died in peace. Okay, so this is going to be a very quick 
um, transition the next match is gonna be started immediately that is how they do it <clears throat> in a uh, EVL virtually they do everything very quickly Next match is between Leia Ravencrest versus Shen Nara. And to my right we have some flames. Look at that. Uh, Sedicus has emulation on his character. <clears throat> so to my right we have Leia Ravencrest and to my left we have Shen Nara. And the countdown has started and I guess the match has begun look at that we just saw ice uh, ice field and now meteor shower <coughs> has been casted <coughs> and uh, they are fighting behind that wall and who is winning I think um, Leia Ravencrest is winning Shannara's HP is down below, uh, it's below 50%, it's down to 10-20%, um, she is getting pushed back by Leia Ravencrest, and there you go, look at that, Shannara went down. And as soon as Shannara went down, Leia Ravencrest exited the arena. Okay, so the winner of this match is Leia Ravencrest. And look at that, she's already there. Wow, that was quick. Um, right now, I'm not, I'm, I'm lagging a bit, but uh, the lag is, is not, is not too bad yet. Okay, it's not yet too bad. Okay, next we'll have a rematch between Shanara and Black FJP. And someone just yawned. <laughs> okay, so it's Black FJP versus Shannara in this third match, which is also a rematch between the two here in EVL Virtual League PvP tournament happening in Virtual Oasis. Virtual Oasis is located in Hidden Vale. So if you are in the game right now, just go to um, Hidden Vale, travel south, and you'll find Virtue Oasis. It's a desert town, and we have a bunch of players uh, right now, and look at that, there are drones over there. Okay, so the match has started. We have Black FJP versus Shannara. Shannara's HP is down below 50%, below 10. No, that's not 10. Around 20, and there you go. It went down. She went down. So Black FJP won this round or this match. And look at that. Shannara is still right there wait, waiting to respawn. 
that was uh, a rather uh, it's a very quick match and now we have uh, Crockles Crockles uh, casting resurrection on Shannara Next match is the Tire C Championship between Black FJP and Leia Ravencrest. Uh, Black FJP needs to win twice. Leia Ravencrest only need to only needs to win once. <clears throat> Excuse me. Again, we have a good amount of uh, people or avatars, outlanders watching the event right now Leia, Leia Ravencrest is ready and there you go the countdown has started so this is the uh, championship for tire C it's between Black FJP and Leia Ravencrest pole arm <coughs> excuse me Pole arm versus um, Axe or Bludgeon, who will win? Uh, Leia Ravencrest just went down. I guess I think that was knocked down. <clears throat> but of course, it, the pole arm ha also has a knockdown uh, effect with the, the leg sweep. Black FJP is in trouble. He is in trouble right now. His HP is down to 10%. Is being chased by Leia Ravencrest. And there you go. Just a matter of seconds. Um, Black FJP went down. And the winner and champion of Tire C is Leia Ravencrest. Congratulations to Leia Ravencrest. And right now, um, she is being awarded or was awarded her prize for winning the, uh, right the now, Tire C uh, or for uh, being the Tire C champion. both fighters the champion and the runner-up they are getting their prizes from dreams of EVL uh, again this is not a uh, this is not a portalarium sponsored event at least that is what I know this event this PvP tournament the virtual league is being uh, run by the EVL Guild Matches for Tire B will start in a moment. Um, those white things uh, some avatars are wearing, those are the Shroud of the Avatar. And you can get the Shroud of the Avatar by completing the storyline. 
or completing the story quest. And over there we have Geeks or Jigs. And of course we still have the Comet. Uh, that thing has been like uh, circling New Britannia for a couple of months now. Wow. Okay, first match for Tire B is between Corte Grimward and Gradius. Corte Grimward versus Gradius for uh, Tire B first match. Corte Grimward says he doesn't see Gradius but uh, Gradius is right there <clears throat> I think uh, Gradius is somewhat bugged right now look at that you can if you look at his name name tag his name tag is in his body. It should be above his head, but it's not. Uh, I guess the same goes for Grimward. It should be above the avatar's head. Like, see that? The name tag should be above the avatar's or player's head. Not within their body. Okay, so the, the, the match has started. It's Corte Grimward versus Gradius. Uh, both fighters are behind the wall. Now they're fighting behind the wall. We just saw Gradius went down and there you go. It was rather a very quick match. Okay, and now uh, uh, Gradius is glitching beside uh, beside that block, beside that stone block, and he is still glitching and glitching. Okay, so the winner of the match is Corte Grimward. And Gradius stopped uh, glitching, but his uh, what do you call that uh, tombstone is still right there. Okay, so he picked up his tombstone. Okay, next match is between Catherine Rose. Uh, and she's against uh, Saul Stormwind. So we have the wall, Catherine Rose versus Saul Stormwind. And it says here from Cambria Stormwind, um, impromptu dance party in Radio City with DJ Mick Foley. Starting now, come join the fun and put in your request at Avatars Radio. Come south. We are on the hills in the Shogun. So there is a uh, dance party happening right now in Radio City. If you are uh, watching or if you are in the game, 
and uh, you'd rather watch or you'd rather dance than watch a PvP tournament well there is one happening right now and it's happening at Radio City okay so we have Catherine Rose to my right and Saul Stormlin to my left both fighters are ready Countdown has started, 3, 2, 1, and there you go, white. Okay, so both fighters are using the wall or the stone block. Ah, I see that Saul Stormlin is a blade user, it's blade versus polearm. Uh -huh. Someone just casted um, ice field. I think that someone is uh, Catherine Rose. Did Catherine Rose cast its uh, ice field? And look at that. They are toe to toe. They're just standing there and uh, dishing out damage. But uh, someone, I think it's Saul. Saul is taking uh, more damage. Catherine Rose is now chasing Saul Stormlin. Because Saul Stormlin is, uh, you know, you can see that his damage or her damage, I, I think that's a male avatar. I could be wrong. In any case, uh, Saul's HP is like below 50%. Is taking damage from Catherine Rose right now. Catherine Rose is taking damage, but uh, she's healing. Okay, so Saul Storlim was able to recover uh, some HP. Look at that. You can see his uh, or her health bar or health points. Now they're behind that wall. Um, Saul Stormin, look at that, is in danger. She is in danger or he is in danger. Look, just a few more hits and there you go. Saul Stormlin went down. Okay, so let's go and examine Sol Stormlin. Okay, so Sol Stormlin is a female avatar. Okay. And the winner of this uh, match is Catherine Rose. Uh, here we have Corte Grimward casting uh, Resurrection, I guess. Okay, so next match we have Gradios versus Saul Stormlin. So we have Gradios, Gradios to my left, and Saul Stormlin on my right. <laughs> so it looks it looks like everyone likes to sit right there for some reason everyone is right there and no one is on this side <laughs> Thank you. 
Again, the EVL uh, Virtual League PvP tournament is happening right now in Virtual Oasis. Okay, the fight has started. As always, uh, the fighters are using the stone block or stone blocks as cover while they uh, buff themselves. Gradios just went down. He went down again. I'm not sure what skill uh, Sol Stormlin is using, but that um, Gradios just went down twice. And he went down again. Although uh, Gradios is dealing more damage than Sol Stormlin. Ah, look at that. Gradius is now an archer. Look at that. Shooting bow, uh, shooting arrows at um, Saul Stormlin. Okay, so someone, what's that? Someone, someone is healing? I just saw a green light. There was a green light that came from above. In any case, okay, so the match is just in front of me uh, Sol uh, Stormlin's HP is down to 30% and right now Sol is in danger 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 and there you go she went down okay so the winner of this match is Radios. Uh, that match wasn't lagging badly because no one casted uh, I don't I don't um, I don't remember anyone casting uh, ice field or even a meteor shower especially meteor shower okay so next match we have Corte Grimward versus Catherine Rose Both fighters are ready. And we have uh, Catherine Rose behind the stone block. The same with Corte Grimward. <coughs> uh, both fighters are uh, pole arm users. And there you go. They're just in front of me. Look at that. Uh, Catherine Rose has the advantage in HP. Um, Corte Grimward got more damage. <clears throat> Again, both fighters are pole arm users. <clears throat> Who will win? And we just saw 105 critical points of damage. <clears throat> Corte Grimward's HP is like, well, both fighters are in danger. Who will go down first? They are toe to toe right now, and and I think ah, Catherine Rose went down first, and of course there you go lag because of Ring of Fire that happened, so Corte Grimward win this uh, match, and look at that. Here we see uh, Catherine Rose and her tombstone
Okay, so um, I guess the next match is about to start. It's between Catherine Rose and Gradios. So where is Catherine Rose going? You, you don't need to exit the arena. Uh, that last match um, is like it was a very quick uh, it, it was a very close match both pole arm users just stood there they went toe to toe at first um, uh, Cannon Rose had the advantage but eventually and slowly as they were uh, trading hits Both, uh, both fighters, um, you know, their HP went down below dangerous levels, but unfortunately for Karen Rose, uh, she went down first. It was a very, uh, very close fight. So we have Karen Rose and Radios, and there you go, Katherine went down into the arena again. Gradius is on my right and Catherine Rose on my left and uh, above me we have Nietzsche we are just waiting for the fighters to get ready Uh, please dismiss buffs Gradius. Thank you. Fighters, are you ready? Again, we are still in tire B of the tournament. <coughs> uh, excuse me, and now both fighters are behind the stone block or wall. I wonder what they're doing there. And we just saw Catherine Rose and Gradios is an archer. Ooh, this is a bad matchup for Catherine Rose. She needs to get close to uh, Gradius, but of course, as uh, an archer, um, Gradius is staying away from Karen Rose and just shooting from a distance. <clears throat> Again, this is a bad matchup for Karen Rose because she needs to get close um, for her pole arm to become useful. I don't think she has engaged opponent in her toolbar. Ah, there you go. I think that was engaged opponent. And right now, this match is a match of, uh, you know, it's a cat and mouse match. Uh, Catherine Rose is the cat and uh, Gradios is the mouse because uh, Catherine is like chasing Gradios. Okay, so Catherine was able to deal a good amount of damage. Look at that, you can see Gradios HP is like um, down to 80. Uh, it's slowly recovering. And Catherine is like running in place. There you go. She teleported right there. That is lag, by the way. She didn't really teleport it. She lagged. Or I, I guess uh, 
I'm the one lagging because I'm the one watching them. I'm not doing anything. Still, uh, Cadden Rose is trying to get close to um, Gradius. There you go. Gradius went down, and she and he went down again. Okay. Look at that, Catherine Rose is like a wall. She's taking those arrows, but those arrows uh, don't seem to affect her. So we have here Gradius hiding behind the stone block, uh, shooting arrows at Catherine Rose. Catherine Rose is trying to get close to Gradius look at that okay so Gradius HP is at a dangerous level right now it's uh, maybe 30 20 percent uh, he's trying to heal up I think that's healing grace yep it's healing grace okay Are we going to see our first um, naked fight? Let's see. The ma matches has like a five minute limit. Two minutes remaining. Catherine Rose needs to, you know, needs to take advantage of the fact that um, Gradius HP is uh, below 50%. <clears throat> it will be very bad for her in the next match if this uh, if this becomes a naked fight because right now um, her armor is protecting her and uh, without her armor she'll be uh, she'll be receiving more damage Shannara says Turn on auto attack. And uh, okay, so Gradius was able to recover her uh, or his HP. <clears throat> One minute left in the match. I guess someone is really timing it. <laughs> And I guess we're going to see our first naked fight or naked match in today's EVN Virtual League. And look at that, Catherine is just standing there and now she she charges in. 30 seconds, she's, uh, she is charging in. Uh, Gradius went down. Gradius is still uh, staying away. Shooting uh, those arrows at Catherine Rose. He's also healing. I think he casted healing grace again or nope, it, it's not healing grace because the green effect disappeared. Oh, oh, okay. So Gradius HP is at a very dangerous level. Ah, oh, what happened? Lao Chu said stop. But Gradius went down. So What happened first? Okay. I guess we're going to find out. The countdown has started uh, and Lao Tzu said, said stop. But at the same time, Gradius went down. Okay, so... We're going to have a naked fight, a naked naked match between uh, Gradius and Catherine Rose. Ah, oh, that's too bad for Catherine Rose. Because uh, she'll have to take off her armor 
and that's uh, one of the things that uh, protecting her, her armor. <clears throat> and right now, um, they are taking away the uh, stone blocks. So they need to take take off everything. Look at that. Only the weapons must remain. So no accessories as well. See that? Only a spear and a uh, shield for Catherine. Again, um, I, I believe this is a big disadvantage for Catherine because she's against a, an archer. Um, in the uh, previous match, she was tanking those arrows. Okay, so um, both both fighters are ready let's see what's going to happen in this naked fight and there you go look at the damage Catherine Rose will just take damage uh, there's really nothing she can do about that um, without her armor she won't be able to tank she won't be able to tank those arrows look at that Oh my goodness. And uh, she said uh, she has no glyphs. <laughs> I guess uh, she made a mistake somewhere. Uh, again, as I've said earlier, this is a disadvantage for Catherine Rose. And there you go. She's going down. Uh... Well, Gradius stopped uh, shooting. And there you go. Catherine Rose went down. So we have Gradius winning. Uh, Lao Chu is asking, was there a problem? Okay, so they're going to do the match again. But I still I think uh, Catherine Rose is at a big disadvantage against an archer. Okay, look, you can see that uh, she's only carrying her spear, a spear plus two, wow, and a shield, a uh, heavy round shield plus one. And uh, let's take a look at Gradius, examine, examining Gradius, a uh, longbow plus two. And another longbow plus two.
Okay, so we're just waiting for Catherine, Catherine Rose to get ready. And uh, for some reason, the uh, position of the comet has changed. Again guys, um, I'm here at the EVL Virtual League PvP Tournament in Virtue Oasis. Uh, says the Canon Rose is ready. But the question is, is Gradius re ready? That is the question. checking my calendar okay so unfortunately I won't be able to finish this uh, the tournament because I'll have to go and water my plants before <laughs> I miss the uh, I miss the uh, watering schedule. I checked my calendar and well, I, I have like uh, what 30 minutes before the uh, water. And there you go, Catherine Rose went down again. It was a big disadvantage for uh, uh, a big disadvantage for Catherine Rose because it's a naked fight without her armor without her plate armor uh, tanking those uh, arrows will be very very hard and it showed in this match anyway congratulations to Gradius and for Catherine Rose for putting up a good fight Anyway guys, uh, uh, I have to end the live stream here of the EVL um, PvP tournament because I need to water my plants. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this. And for the championship, it's between Gradios and Corte Grimward. Okay guys, so thank you for watching and see you in uh, Shroud of the Avatar. Bye-bye.